How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to do an unboxing of the Rolo wireless thermal printer. This guy back here. It has finally been released after years of anticipation and supply chain issues. But now we have it in hand and we're going to do an unboxing, a test print, and initial impressions in this video. At just under $300, very promising. I think this product's gonna do very, very well. I will put a link to it in the description for you to check out. I haven't heard anything about the dongles for the original Rolos and I'll keep you guys updated as soon as I find out. This video, I'm not doing tutorials on installation and setup for this. This is strictly an unboxing and initial impressions with a test print. I forgot to mention this during the unboxing, but it is a beautiful glossy white and purple colorway, which looks super clean on your desk or in this case, a five chest of drawers. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. If you wanna check out tutorials on setting this up on Wi-Fi, getting it working on your Mac, your iPhone, your Android, tablets, iPhones, all that. We'll be coming out with those tutorials soon and let's get into the unboxing. The printer actually comes in a Uline 10 by eight by six box. And I'm almost certain that it's gonna be a box within a box. Boom, box with in a box. Rolo has done a great job on their packaging. As you can see up here, no ink, no toner, just like all thermal printers. And down here it says wireless printing from iPhone, iPad, Mac, Android, Chromebook, and Windows. So that's hitting us from every single operating system and device except for Linux. But I bet it would work with Linux if it works with Chromebook. On the back of the box, it has specifications. It's a direct thermal printer, 203 DPI, 150 millimeters per second, which is about six inches per second. Paper width is a minimum of one 0.57 inches and maximum of 4.1 inches, which is 48 to 108 millimeters. Paper thickness 0.08 to 0.2. Paper height up to 12 inches. If you have a 12 inch long label, I don't even know where you would get that from, but you could print a 12 inch document. Works with direct thermal labels or direct thermal printer. Comes with 24 volt, 2.5 amp power adapter. Comes with the printer, cable, AC adapter, user guide, sample labels. The printing life is about 650,000 labels. Supported printing operating systems covers all your bases, iOS, Android, Mac OS, Windows, Chrome, and Linux. Printing via USB and Wi-Fi. You initially set it up with Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or USB. It weighs two pounds, and the dimensions of the printer, 180 by 90 by 80 millimeters. On this side of the box, it's got some more marketing and some familiar logos that we can identify with. There is a seal on the box right here, so they will know if people have opened and tampered. Look at that, we just voided something. Hi, I'm Rolo. So we got some labels. Oh, we have a setup card, which says to connect the power, download the app by doing the QR code, connect to Wi-Fi. Then we have this color code card. Green is all ready to go. Red, there's trouble. And then all these codes for wireless. So if you're getting some weird colors on your printer, you can just reference this card. Very nice. They have a nice customer support card in here and then you could call them and get some support. Now we got the printer itself nuzzled in here nicely with some foam inserts for protection. And on the bottom here, another box, which I'm guessing contains our power supply and our USB cable. On the power supply, they added a little bit of Rolo branding with a puffy sticker that they slapped on the factory in China. So maybe if you have a lot of power supplies behind your desk and you want to unplug your Rolo printer, you'll know which power supply goes to what. It's already pre-labeled, kind of nice. Now we have the printer itself. On the top, it's got a Rolo button, and then it's also got a Wi-Fi LED indicator. The side has some nice purple accents. Rolo picked purple as their branding color. And this side right here, we have the clam opening switch. So if I pull it, it allows me to open the printer. There's just a blank label in here. On the top here, we have our print head. There's a little serrated paper tear on the top. And then the label feed guides, you can adjust by pulling on them. Here is your platen roller. There's a sensor right here to measure the distance between labels when you're calibrating. It looks like there's a barcode and a serial number on the inside there. In the back, we have our power switch, the USB port, the power supply in, some vents. The bottom, we have our riser pads and some information about the Rolo engineered in USA, made in China. 
These are made in China. They're not the overall best build quality, but it's just something that's gonna be sitting on your desk. With these Chinese sausage style printers, you have to have a roll behind it rather than it being all enclosed. Some people will just place the roll behind it and it will kind of unroll while it prints. They do sell an extra plastic upsell, which is basically a roll holder, but you could take a box and a pencil or a chopstick and suspend your labels behind the printer like that. Or take your Rolo box and you could engineer it yourself to make a nice little roll holder. It does work with the rolls as well as the fan fold labels. That's pretty much all there is to the unboxing. I'm now going to set it up. I'm not going to show step by step how to set it up in this video. That will be in a future video and I will put a link to that in the description. I'm going to set it up, hopefully get it on wireless fairly easily, do a test print on a Android phone, do a test print on an Apple device, and I'll let you guys know of any hiccups that I see when I'm doing that. Setup wasn't bad. I did learn this LED is actually a button as well, which we'll talk about in some of the tutorials, what you can do with that button. It was slightly confusing with it having to receive an update and get ready, which was just like blinking codes on there. It wasn't super instant. I think it took a couple of minutes to do an over the air update, but it wasn't too bad. Now we're on iPhone. We're gonna do a test print. I've got my shipping label. We're gonna go to down here, print and the Rolo printer pops up four by six. We're gonna hit print. I have a roll of labels just hanging out behind it and it's receiving signal, it's starting to blink. And there we go, our beautiful thermal sample label. Now we're on Android. We got our sample label, three dots at the top. We're gonna hit print, go to the drop down. all printers. Rolo popped up right there. We're gonna select it. It defaults to four by six. I'm gonna tap the print icon. Okay, receiving signal it looks like. And our beautiful sample label is printed. I don't know guys, this is looking pretty good. At just under $300, very promising. I think this product's gonna do very, very well. I will put a link to it in the description. You can check it out on Amazon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. I will be coming out with tutorials with this, setting it up with Wi-Fi, step-by-step on iPhone, step-by-step -step on Android, Chrome, Windows, Mac OS. It's all gonna come out to help you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, throw them in the comment section. I'll talk to you in the next video, bye.